I'm Shaq West from Harlem, I'm 19 years old. I played high school at Norman Thomas. My sophomore year there, I led the city in assists per game. And I was modeling heavily at the time, but you know, I had a situation where I had a playoff game and I had like this fashion show and I had to make a decision. And I made a decision to go to Easy Season 3, but that decision, like, you know, not necessarily opened doors for me, but opened my mind, you know, but it definitely opened doors too. Bitch! Day trip took it to I got hoes calling a young nigga fall. Day before my video, I rolled my ankle and I tied my shoe, I kept on playing, but then later on the pain started, like, killing me. and then, I tell my managers and everybody, and this is like the day before, like a video you've been playing in for a while. And everybody wanted me to cancel it and all that. And I was like, no, just give me a power chair and we'll rock out this video still. Like my nigga Mo. But Mo always tell me like, bro, you throw throwing in the song. And I was like, the song really was about my recruitment, you know, as an artist and comparing it to like somebody like Mo Bamba's recruitment, who's like a five-star player from my neighborhood. Feels like we two of the same people, but like in different worlds. You get know what I'm trying to say? But in the same time, we're still in the same world. All the things I ever wanted from playing basketball, I get now from like making music, like a damn slam interview. You get know what I'm saying? Like that's amazing. That's things you wanted when you play ball. But me, I always treated everything like it's basketball. So when you got four or five labels calling you, texting or hitting you up, oh, the sad meetings are old, come check out our campus. Check out our office. You know what I'm trying to say? Or we can make this show happen for you, you know? Like, we can make this collab happen. So it's kind of like uh, the same way, but it was annoying because I couldn't really be young. It was a lot of things I had to focus on, a lot of like older decisions I had to make, you know? A lot of older things I had to think about. You know, it was really like college recruitment. You know, Travis people reached out to me. I had one of my friends was working for me. He had like all my unreleased shit. He would, like played on my shit and all that. His manager came to my projects, to the kingdom where everybody was playing ball outside, shooting dice. I feel like that was different than what everybody else was doing. And that really showed me like some type of commitment and then meeting them too and then like being young like them and then being into basketball. Like we sit and watch basketball games. It's like uh, somewhere where like I felt comfortable as an artist. I play with YG. YG nice, he's left-handed. I play with Lil Dicky, I mean, he can shoot. He got bad shot selection though, but he can shoot. I play ball with Ye all the time. I play ball with Kanye right before I came. Kanye don't miss layups, crazy. Get mad rebounds. You know you play 2K, and, and you got the, the big man running out, and you press R1, L2, that's Kanye. So have you ever played Trav one-on-one in basketball? Nah, but I play him in 2K. I ain't playing him in ball yet. Try to play ball. I ain't played two chains. I ain't played Davies. I want to play all of them though. I want to play Quavo. I'll kill all of them. Cause you know I come from a basketball world. Two chains played ball, but he played ball back then. If we play now, it'd be different. I can't wait. Next year, I gotta be in that game.